be put on a boat and tried for murder. I am sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's a... Uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, uh, Micah. Uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Dutch! Come on, boys. Yeah! God damn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here. Take this. <clears throat> you take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss. Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler. Ride with me. Yeah, yeah let's go get the boys' mama. Yeah, putting her on a boat. They'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon you Yo, should go what's up, everybody, way. and welcome back to Next TV. Yo, I am here yes. with some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh. Last episode kind of bled into this one, Just more or less, me, okay? so kind of why there was no done, outro for that one, but thank you guys. I do want to say for watching, uh, I appreciate your guys' views and support on all these videos. It's, it means a lot to me. It's amazing. So right now we got to go save Abigail, and I don't believe Dutch when he says the army killed John. Something in me just says that I don't believe him. I don't think it's true. I think we're gonna see a plot twist and John's gonna come be alive. But we gotta go save his wifey so we could go get him, his boy, and everyone else out to safety. Because Dutch has officially just lost all care for his old crew and is only concerned with what Micah tells him and apparently his new gang Micah that one asshole that tried giving me orders last mission and fucking the big Brutus dude that wasn't a thing I didn't see all of them I, just, I mean I seen the dudes I didn't hear the names or bother to remember them for that matter but it looks like that's his new crew And Arthur can see that now. Now he okay. don't care if he orphans his friend's child so long as he gets rich. All his goddamn talk all them years. Seems like it was always a lie. Or he went crazy. Yes. Sure. I guess he began to believe he was God or something. Okay, here we are. Let's ditch the horses and come up with a plan. Alright. Before we ditch the horses, make sure I got everything. Yep. Feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Okay. Get. 
She called him, honey. Alright, so let's go ahead and do it her way and, uh... Go ahead and provide her Overwatch. With some Overwatch. Up on this. What the fuck? Okay. I figured that door was probably locked. I should have known better. Yeah, provide her some Overwatch on this lighthouse. Take these guys out. I guess. Up there. Come on. Come on, I'm up. Where's she getting shot from? Oh, up here. She's still being shot. Fuck, I'm a terrible shot. Are you serious? That's where he went into. Shit. Okay, Mr. Milton. I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen. How he threw the gun down in anger like you son of a bitch. What happened to my Oh, it got rid of my one gun for that. And then he threw down the fucking other gun like I don't need it. So I have a little bit more range with that. There you go. Take that. Oh, 
Shit, shit. I don't know how the fuck I ended up up here, but. I'm gonna get this shit off my screen real quick. That red marker, well, the waypoint I had, was kinda fucking me up. Knock, knock, bitch! dead sure but I'm gonna be just fine we offered you a deal mr. Morgan you should have taken it I'm a fool mr. Milton not all you boys have quite so many scruples old Micah Bell Micah. you mean Molly Molly O'Shea sweated her a couple of times never talked a word had to let her go Micah Bell we picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Okay. Okay. Losing your you son of a Morgan. bitch. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. Oh. Horrible man. <laughs> now come on, both of you. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. We need to get the hell out of here. What happened to Jack? Where is he? He's fine. This is why I need my repeater. Abigail, you ride mine. Get on, Arthur. Get on. You're seriously not gonna let me use my repeater? You'll be okay. Idiot. Idiot. Look out ahead on the left. You call yourself man, you pathetic son of a bitch. Where's that? There we go. Got more on the right of... Does... Someone killed this guy! Ah! Stop now, Will! Ah! Stop women! You alright, Abigail? I think so! I'm ah! losing them! Hold it right there! Your friend's dead. Stop following us. You still okay there, Abigail? I'm good. I'm good. You see any more of them? No. Oh, wait a second. Bastards grabbed me outside camp. I was with Tilly and Jack. It happened so fast, I couldn't do anything. It's all right. Jack and Tilly are Ladies, hey, I'm fine. Hold up a moment. Man. 
Arthur, there's no tab. What happened to John? Where's John? I, I don't... I think... Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he what? got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Jack, he's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. You gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. What? Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <clears throat> You're good women. Good people. The best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. Who's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. Abigail Roberts. Always was a good thief. That you was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. <sighs> <coughs> I just wish you'd done it before you worked yourself into the grave. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. That was nice. That was a nice ride.
Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry, we ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. Oh. We all need to have a little chat. Blacklong, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that. You rats. All of you. Seems old Mike was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. And you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. Dutch. Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! John? You left me. You left me to die. My boy, I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't... You! I didn't have a choice. You left me! All of you, you pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch, for this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No, you be quiet, Mr. Bell. And put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. Ah! Now! Ah! Ah! Who amongst you ah! Ah! is with me? Ah! And who is betraying me? Well, I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down. God damn it. Move. You ready, John? Yeah. Everyone get down. My God, assholes is what that is. You can obviously. Oh, what the fuck? Why? Did my gun not have enough range right there? Like, you can obviously see that fucking Mike is in the wrong there. He even shot fucking Mrs. Grimshaw. Do I have my. I do. Why am I using this? I have a repeater. Ah, you lucky bastard. Come on, Arthur. Come on, Arthur. I'm going. They're running into the cave. Chase them down. Go, go. Stay with me. Damn, I didn't know this cave went in this deep. Although I should, I cleared out those people those here, didn't I? Left me for dead. Seems that's what they do now. Let's go, Arthur. Push. Oh, I'm pushing. I'm digging. Michael was the rat, John. Milton told me <coughs> we should have killed him months ago. Let's keep moving. I see him over here. I want that son of a bitch. <laughs> Are you all right, Arthur? I'm with you. Keep going. Yeah. I'm right behind Come you. On, oh, yeah, as fast as my lungs will let me breathe. What about the money? It's in here. There's no time. We'll have to come back. They're right on us, Arthur. We'll always come have on. to come back. Arthur, you go up first.
Abigail. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie and Copperhead Landon. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. Really? So Dutch is just gonna help them shoot at us. There's Pinkerton's up ahead in the tree. What the fuck is going on here? I'm with you, John, I'm with you. We're trying to cover us a little bit. Blocking the road. What do you mean? We just cleared the road. Oh fuck you, Bill. Too retarded and drunk to ever fucking realize what's in front of you. Oh shit. dead in five minutes I got a family that's more important uh, maybe you're right but uh, you want the money you head down I gotta go to my family fuck the money let's get John to safety I'm coming with you I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit if it's the last goddamn thing I do thank you I've done too much oh, for shit. money might let's as well go. do something right for a life don't worry about them. Not too much bad Focus things for money. for the money. We need to get the hell out of here. Shit. <sighs> well, let's get up this cliff. Yeah. Here you go. Come on, Arthur. Keep pushing. Look out. Trying. Fuck, fuck. Are you serious? Shit. Sorry if my video cut out suddenly. It's. I. Yeah. My recording ended. This is gonna be a long one. I know for sure. We need to get out of here! Let's go! I'm Let's moving go. with you. Let's go. All right, Arthur, come on. Let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them off. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. 
Go. Arthur, go to your family. Arthur, get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. Y'all sons of bitches, let's do this. Motherfuckers. Bring it, motherfuckers. Michael, you son of a bitch. Be fucking sick and dying, but I'll still kick your fucking ass. I'm hurt. You ain't gonna reach that gun. You ain't. You lost my sick friend. You lost. Crawl, Arthur. Crawl. Despite my best efforts to the country, it turns out I've won. It is over now, Arthur. It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. I 
Come on. Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. <laughs> we won. Come on. John made it. He's the only one. <laughs> the rest of us. No. But I tried. In the end, I did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch! Come on! That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The well, one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in... in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good. But I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's a moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. <laughs> boy? I'm sorry, sir. That's... What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? 
Western Tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy Tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. Nice. It's nice seeing them somewhat of a family. Not close. Been a long time. Well, it's nice seeing John trying. It's really tragic. But not all that bad way to go for Arthur. Why don't you pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. All right, let's find some work. Hello, sir. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing, as long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy. We was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well... We need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about Got a it. wagon by any chance? Sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife and then. I can come back and get loaded. Oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Alright, looks like we got some kind of work going on. But, uh, I'm gonna end it here just so the video doesn't go on being like an hour or some such. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the part two of this. Uh, I guess we're in the epilogues. Yeah? We're, we're finally John. Beginning the, the, what is it, set up to the first Red Dead Redemption. So I will see you guys in the next episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment below, and subscribe if you're new. Alright, peace out guys.